This is Spencer, your Tampa Bay wallpaper installer, coming to you from sunny Florida, the Tampa Bay area, St. Pete. Now I have an arch to wallpaper. I was interrupted, I already taped this. I'm going to do this real quick. You're going to extend your wallpaper an inch past the edge of the arch, all the way around. An inch past, or more, but a consistent amount, consistent. Not an inch here and a quarter inch. You want to be consistent. Same thing over here. You're going to clip just around. And the best way to do it, you see, if I do it from this side, right, with my paper hanging over, right, just picture the paper hanging over. I just hung it, right? And so from this side, you're not going to overcut it. You just use your, see where I'm doing my, with my thumb? I just hold the knife, and it's consistent. I just hold the knife where with my thumb up against the wall and it protects it from cutting too much. After I do that, I'm going to let the wallpaper dry because it's very easy to cut dry wallpaper than it is to cut wet wallpaper. Have you ever tried to cut a wet rag? If you were in your garage and you wanted to just cut a dirty rag in half to use it to clean something up, it's very hard to cut if it's wet. The drier the better. Okay, same thing with the wallpaper. After you do that, you're going to wait till the wallpaper dries. Then, you're going to slice the wallpaper around the edge of the wallpaper. And so, picture now the wallpaper is up, just like this. Let me show you a piece. I'll get a piece of scrap, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So picture the wallpaper hanging into the, the arch. Just like that, so to speak, okay? Well, when it's dry, you're going to take your razor blade and you're just going to make a very nice cut all the way around, holding it like this, the sharper the better. And then, you see these little slices in the paper? See these little cut marks? Can you see them? Look close. Well, when the paper's dry, you're either going to take sharp scissors or your knife. You can put slices in there about a half an inch apart from each other, especially around the bend, even closer. You'll know that when you go to fold it underneath the reveal, if it pushes back out at you, then you know you need to slice it more. But you don't want to go to the edge. You want to slice it just about a half a centimeter from the edge. So that you're cutting it so that it flexes and bends for you. But if you cut it too much, you're going to defeat the purpose of having this flap. The idea of having this flap is to have the whole edge covered with wallpaper. Okay, after you do that, you manipulate the paper. Look what I'm doing with my thumb. You can never sufficiently pull wallpaper over a corner. It always wants to relax back and kind of give you a rounded radius of a corner, no good. And the way to avoid that is to don't overwork your corner, but don't underwork it either. You wanna put a lot of glue in the corner. And if I were you, I would use a special glue, especially tacky, Romans 535, super tacky. Or border adhesive, it keeps that paper in place. You see, I'm sufficiently satisfied that this paper is not going to get any better. Now what I want to do is, I'm going to find a piece of paper that kind of matches. See, now I have birds in this pattern. So, if I have a pattern here, if I have a bird here in my pattern, see this bird here? I want the bird to be over here in the reveal. So I'm going to take a piece of scrap if I can and I'm going to fit it into my my reveal. And what am I going to do because of this pattern? Well, I'm only going to put it up halfway. Why is that? Have you figured it out? If I go all around the arch, my paper's going to wind up being upside down. So what do I do to combat that? I'm going to end it halfway up the arch, start a new piece, and start the same thing going down on the other side. It's a complicated thing. 
But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to let you go, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this with an extra tacky glue. Be careful that you don't uh, discolor your wallpaper. If you're using a clay-based glue for this, you know, uh, for this part of the job, test it out. Make sure that your, your glue doesn't change the color of the wallpaper, because it can. Your best bet is border adhesive that really keeps vinyl against vinyl. It's good stuff. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do that and maybe I'll give you a second video just to show you how it came out. I'll call it uh, Wallpapering and Arch Part 2. So see you on the next one. And uh, if you like the video, click on like, subscribe to my channel, and share it with a friend. If you have a better way of doing the arch, let me know in the comments. Show me how you do it. We can both learn from each other. Thank you. See you on the next one.